Hey boys, it's Harm Nan. Today we're going to be going over 10 of the best cars that you can get off of the street or for free in Grand Theft Auto Online. Also, most of these cars are going to be available for purchase for less than $100,000 on Southern San Andreas Super Autos, so if you can't find them on the street, you can of course find them there. Now I just want to say this list isn't really based off of anything, it's not based off of lap times. This guy's interrupting me. As I was saying, this list is not going to be based on lap times. This is going to be based on the car's performance, but not lap time. Also how cool it is, rarity, and just how good of a vehicle it is overall. Anyway guys, we're going to start off with number 10. Alright guys, at number 10 we have the Imponte Phoenix. Now this can be had off of the street for absolutely free, and I would definitely recommend picking one up. This is a pretty solid muscle car. Now of course it's not going to win you any races, however, it does sound really really good. In my opinion, it looks great as well, and it's pretty decent. In a straight line, it's very very quick. Of course, it is a muscle car, and it's an old muscle car at that, so you can probably guess what the handling is like I probably I, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna say what the handling is like you guys already know overall the handling is manageable it's not the worst ever it's definitely nothing to uh, write home about let's just say that the Phoenix is definitely a pretty underrated car these days in Grand Theft Auto Online I don't think that anybody really drives these things unless I'm, I'm sure there's gonna be somebody in the comments who drives an Imponte Phoenix like all the time for the most part, you don't really see these in online. Sorry to that lady, by the way. The Phoenix is a really, really solid car. Oh my god, there's a lot of blood on this thing. Okay. But yeah, guys, I would definitely recommend picking up an Imponte Phoenix if you guys have some space in your garage. Dude, this... Yeah, if you got space in your garage, try to find one of these things. It's a, it's a pretty good car. Um, yeah, that's it for this one. Let's move on to number nine. All right, guys. At number nine, we have the Gallivanter Baller. Now, this is the regular Gallivanter Baller. It's not the LE. It's not the ST. It's it's not the LE LWB, it's not the LE Armored or the LWB Armored, it's just the Gallivanter Baller. But it's not the square body Gallivanter Baller, it's the other one. Anyways, there's a lot of Gallivanter Ballers in the game. Um, this one, or, or the square body one to be honest, they're both very very good cars in my opinion. They're actually pretty quick when you upgrade them too. Um, I've kind of always had a Gallivanter Baller in GTA, I remember it was one of the cars that I saw driving around and I didn't really think that you'd be able to steal it and just put it in your garage. But when I found that out, I instantly hunted one for about two hours one day. And I remember my friends found it before I did, got me to drive over there. They grabbed a cargo bob and then flew it across the map and I tried to chase them to go and get it and then they dropped it in the Alamo Sea. Anyways, the Gallivander Bowler. Very, very good car, obviously based off of a Range Rover in real life. Very classy looking SUV. If you're absolutely dirt broke in GTA, but you want to look rich, hey, you can steal one of these off the street. And, well, to an untrained eye, they might mistake it for an ST if they like if they really squint maybe close one eye and squint with the other one, they, they might mistake this for an ST and they might think that you're doing really well. So anyway guys, all jokes aside, the Gallivander Bowler, pretty good vehicle. I, I have to say it's uh, it's one of my one of my favorite SUVs from early GTA online, probably within my top three I would say. So anyway guys, the Gallivanter Bowler, very, very solid SUV. Should definitely pick one up, especially because I mean it's free. Well so are all the cars on this list, but Definitely pick one of these things up for sure. Anyway, let's move on to number eight. All right, guys, at number eight, we have the Ubermacht Oracle. Now, this is the regular Oracle, not the XS. The XS is like the older version of the Oracle, but I could put the XS here as well with the regular Oracle. Both are very, very good cars. I really like the XS and I really like the regular Oracle. For what this car is, I mean, it's $80,000 on Southern San Andreas if you do want to buy it, or of course, you can steal it off of the street, which is what I would recommend doing but I mean 80 grand is not exactly a lot of money in GTA these days so the Oracle is is a, it's a pretty solid car for that price I gotta say now the Oracle once you fully upgrade it is actually a very very quick car as you guys can see I've got mine completely blacked out and I think that it looks very very sleek and well kind of luxurious and for being $80,000 the Oracle is actually a pretty darn quick car now, of course, you're not going to win any races with it, but if you want a car that's quick and free, the Oracle is a great option for you. And of course, it is a four-seater, so you can have all your boys in there with you if you have any boys in GTA. Or girls, I mean, we don't discriminate here, so I guess my intro is, hey boys, isn't it? Overall, guys, the Oracle is definitely a car that I recommend picking up. 
I think that everybody should own an Oracle in GTA. This car is just so solid. Oh, cycle. Oh, oh that dude is so dead. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, dude, he messed up my car. What? A anyway, guys, definitely get yourselves an Oracle if you see one on the street. Let's move on to number seven. All right, guys, at number seven, we have the Benefactor Schwarzer. Now, the Schwarzer is a two-door and it's a very good two-door. This thing is in the sports category, so it's going to be a bit of a faster car. However, you're definitely not going to win any races with this thing. However, as a free mode car, it is pretty darn solid, I have to say. Now, the Schwarzer actually has quite a bit of customization that you can do to it, which is, of course, very nice, especially for a car that you can get for free. You can put some of the money that you saved into doing some customization. As you can see, my car has a carbon roof on it. It has exhaust options. It also has spoiler options. It has hood options. I think it has side skirt options as well. Overall, there's a lot that you can actually do to this thing. Now, the Schwarzer is, of course, available from Southern San Andreas Super Autos if you can't find one. However, I would definitely recommend just taking one of these off the street, you'll save yourself some money. And the Schwarzer, in my opinion, can be a pretty sleek looking car and it kind of looks like it's worth a lot more money than it actually is. In my opinion, it kind of looks like a car that you shouldn't be able to steal off of the street, but of course you can. So the Schwarzer is definitely a car that I recommend picking up. It is just so solid. And having all the customization options as well is just a very nice added bonus. Overall, Schwarzer, very, very good car. Let's move on to number six. All right, guys, at number six, we have the Lampadati Felon or the Lampadati Felon GT. However, I kind of like the Felon better because it has a few customization options, which does just help to make the car a little bit more personal. Of course, it has hood options. It has side skirt options. It has bumper options. It has a spoiler option. It's got some pretty good customization for a car that you can get for 90 grand or off of the street. The Felon GT, however, does not really have any customization that you can do to it and it's $95,000 but it is a convertible. Albeit I think that the Felon GT is a very very good looking car especially when the roof is down. When the roof is up not so much but it's a very good car nonetheless. Now for the $90,000 price tag I believe that this is one of the best performing vehicles that you can get for free off of the street. Don't mishear me I said one of the best not the best. So just keep that in mind when we come to some of the cars up ahead on this list. This is not the best performer off the street but but it's a pretty good one. In my opinion, the Felon is one of the best handling cars that you can get off of the street for free in the entire game. It's also a pretty good looking car in my opinion. I know it's not for everybody, but I personally do like it quite a bit. Overall, the Felon and the Felon GT are very, very good cars. I would definitely recommend picking up one of each if you guys can. Anyway, guys, let's move on to number five. All right, guys, at number five, we have the Sentinel XS. Now, the Sentinel is, it's honestly one of the best cars you can get off of the street, especially if you're into customizing cars and you're into tuner sort of cars. The Sentinel XS has an absolute ton of customization. You can do hood options, bumper options, exhaust, side skirts, spoiler, basically you name it, you can do it pretty much. Now, the Sentinel is also a pretty quick car, albeit not the quickest, and I personally don't like it as much as the Lampadati Felon, as far as the performance goes, I personally think that the Felon handles a little bit better, but the Sentinel, don't get me wrong, it's not bad at all in any way. It's just personal preference. I personally like the Felon a little bit better, but I can't deny the Sentinel. Honestly, it might have better handling. I'm just maybe a little bit biased towards the Felon. Now, the Sentinel is in the sports category, so of course you're not going to win any races with it, but for pulling up to car meets, stuff like that, the Sentinel is a very, very good car. There is also another version of the Sentinel that you can get that is a convertible and it pretty much looks the exact same as this, except it has one more line in the roof. So if you do want a convertible Sentinel, you can of course get one. It's a pretty good looking car as well. I have one, but I prefer the hardtop version. Overall, the Sentinel is definitely a car that you should get if you see one on the streets of GTA. There are special ones of these that can spawn in at Los Santos Customs. There's a yellow one and I believe a blue one as well. So you can get one that's already got some customization done to it if you want. And of course, you can also find them and you can sell them for like 23,000 or like 17,000, something like that. Sentinel, very, very good car. Let's move on to number four. All right, guys. And number four, we of course have the Vapid Dominator. Now, the Vapid Dominator is pretty much a staple of GTA, in my opinion. This car has been out since 2013, and for a long time, it actually dominated the muscle class within the game. Now, the Dominator still has a very, very good top speed, one of the highest in the muscle category, which is pretty cool considering this car has been out in the game the entire time that it's been out. Now, the Dominator has quite 
questionable handling occasionally, but for the most part, it is pretty darn good. Pair that with the really good top speed, and it's honestly not a terrible car for racing. However, you're probably still not going to win, unfortunately. With that being said, though, the Dominator is a very solid car that you can get off of the street. You really can't do much better in terms of performance than a Dominator off of the street, at least when it comes to speed. When it comes to handling, you can definitely do better. But when it comes to speed, the Dominator is pretty much untouchable. The Dominator also has quite a bit of customization that you can do. A surprising amount, honestly, a little bit more than you would think you could actually do with this thing. In my opinion, it's also a very good looking car being based off of a Mustang. It's a pretty classic look. I know not everyone loves Mustangs, but I do think that they are really, really nice cars. Overall, the Dominator is definitely a car that I would recommend picking up, especially if you're broke in GTA and you need a faster muscle car or just a faster car to get around with. The Dominator has got you covered. Anyway, guys, that is it for number four. Let's move on to number three. All right, guys, at number three, we of course have the Sultan. Now, the Sultan is it's a classic car in GTA, one of the best tuner cars that was released with the game. I can't knock anything about this thing. I just it, it's it's a great car. As far as vehicles off the street with overall best performance, I would say the Sultan is probably the best vehicle in the game. Now it has a ton of customization options. It is a fantastic rally car. It's also a fantastic road racer. There's really nothing that the Sultan can't do. It's, it's just an awesome car. In my opinion, it looks pretty darn good. And of course, if you have enough money, eventually you can upgrade this thing to the Sultan RS, which is a very, very cool upgrade. It allows you to customize this thing within Benny's and it adds a ton more customization options. And it also makes this thing into a two door instead of a four door. The Sultan is pretty much as good as it gets for off the street. However, there are just some cars that I feel like are a little bit cooler and maybe perform a little bit better than this thing. Overall, the Sultan is definitely a car that you are going to want to try to pick up. If you can't find one off of the street, it is available on Benny's for $15,000, I believe. Anyway, guys, make sure you go and get a Sultan. This car is crazy good. All right, guys, and number two, we have the Benefactor Dubsta 2. Now, a lot of you are probably going, what, the Dubsta? It's such a lame vehicle. Well, this is the Dubsta 2, and it has a couple of features that are really, really cool, in my opinion. They're subtle, but they are noticeable once you understand what they actually are. So I'm not going to go over everything that the Dubsta 2 has different in this video compared to the Dubsta 1. However, I will go over a few things. It of course has black badging on it, which is really, really cool. As you can see, the Benefactor badge on the wheel cover there is blacked out. The V12 Supercharged is also blacked out. The side stripes on this thing are blacked out as well as the 6.5 SC. Now it has some more features than that, but I'm not going to get into it in this video. I have a video compared comparing the Dubsta 1 to the Dubsta 2 in full. If you guys are interested, I will link that in the description down below. Now, if you didn't know, the Benefactor Dubsta is actually a pretty impressive SUV. It's not as slow as you might think it is. Now, the Dubsta 2 doesn't have as many customization options as the Dubsta 1. However, the Dubsta 2 is quite rare and a little bit hard to get. I will also link a guide to how to get a Dubsta 2 in Grand Theft Auto Online in the description if you guys are interested. It's actually pretty easy, although it might take you a significant amount of time. Check that out if you are interested. Now, the Dubsta is actually a pretty quick SUV, albeit it's not going to win you any races, so don't even think about that. But for free mode, it is a very, very fantastic SUV. It's pretty fast. It actually handles really, really well. In my opinion, it looks great. I know the G-Wagon is not for everybody, but I do think that this thing just looks pretty awesome. Overall, there's really nothing wrong with the Dubsta, and the Dubsta 2 in particular is a really, really special vehicle. So guys, if you don't have a Dubsta 2, you should definitely try your best to get one. I wish you all the luck in the world if you do try to get it, because it is occasionally a little bit challenging to spawn. Anyway, guys, with that being said, oh, person's dead. With that being said, let's move on to number one. All right, guys, and at number one, we of course have the Vapid Sand King XL. Oh my god. Is that a... Whoa, it is a can of Seminole. That's amazing. You know what, actually? The can of Seminole is the best car that you can get off of the street in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now, of course, it is a little known fact that the Canis Seminole is actually faster than the Benefactor Krieger and is also one of the most capable cars in all of Grand Theft Auto Online. 
As you guys can see, it can climb hills like it's absolutely nothing. If you guys haven't seen the video, the Cana Seminole ascended Mount Chiliad with exceptional ability, let's be honest. And the Seminole comes in at $30,000, or of course you can steal one off of the street. Although I would say, don't steal one off of the street because you're taking a fellow Seminole owner's vehicle away from them and that's just not, that's that's almost a war crime, I think. So guys, just source your own can of Seminole, go on Southern San Andreas Super Autos and buy one for $30,000. Obviously, the can of Seminole is a fantastic looking vehicle. It's a fantastic performing vehicle. There's really nothing wrong with this thing at all. And of course, it is one of the greatest off-roaders in all of Grand Theft Auto Online of all time. It's 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 undeniable. The Seminole's track record of just doing everything perfectly is like it, the list is just longer than I even care to go on about to be honest. Definitely get yourself a Seminole guys, you will not regret it. Fastest car in the entire game, best off-roader in the game, and of course, it doesn't even need to be said, but the best looking car in all of Grand Theft Auto Online, of course. So anyway guys, that is it for my top 10 best cars that you can get off of the street in Grand Theft Auto Online for free or of course that you can get for under $100,000. If you guys enjoyed this video, a like is of course appreciated, dislike if you didn't, subscribe if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace!